Hello, it's XO Ashley Pink, otherwise known as Ashley. I can't seem to get the right angle that I was for my other videos, but I'm not gonna frig with it. This is the angle you are getting. So, welcome to my planner stack video. I already filmed this, and then Christmas of 2022 happened, and I got an iPad for Christmas, which I wasn't really expecting to like the iPad had like planning stuff as much so this is what I'm using but I'm also having a digital portion where I explain what and how I use my iPad and my iPhone in my planning system so let's just start off at the top this I've you've probably seen the last few planning stack videos this is a art churn olive like rainbow dot grid paper in a5 and I use it as a school planner um, so I have my own index. I really like number cards and indexes. So, do that. Um, oh, okay, sorry. So really, it's quite simple. I just list off exactly what's here and what courses. So I have what needed to graduate. My school already had a page like this. Um, that's where I keep one of these, in fact. So what I use this for is <coughs> I write down the name of, so the course number, a name or like a abbreviated version of the name. So for example, observation and documentation of young children turned to observation and doc. Um, and then I have a grading section. P means past. I have a lot of transfer credits. Um, other than that, it is a letter grade system. And then here, check mark means I registered for the class. T means it's a transfer credit. C mean it it means it is a it was completed. And I wouldn't put F because um, the ones I failed or I, for example, math. Um, I was in before I failed, but. I am, I passed this time. And then I have sticky notes. Um, Cause I, my university, MSVU, you can pre-make, not pre-make, pre-register for winter, fall, winter, and uh, summer one and two, which is the first half and second half of summer. Um, pretty much from like August on. Well, you can register for the summer courses in, uh, March, but you can look at them beforehand. So the last five or six semesters, I was able to really, really look at, because starting in March, you can look at the, for the next year as well. So, um, this is actually winter 2023 is actually my last semester. Um, I'm really happy with that. But yeah, and then I literally just write down course date, the teacher's name, the full name of the um of the course that's also where i write any textbooks and then for example this is a practicum so i just wrote to do and if i passed or not um this is a bit different as you can see i i literally take the syllabus and i write down what the course objectives are um and if it's just a paragraph i'll write the paragraph or skim through it and write a jot like a skimmed version of it um i write down a, like the section of what the course expectations are um, I write down the like criteria. So for example, like this is what the assignments and evaluation looks like. Um, and then I literally write down everything on the syllabus about the assignment, the entire thing so that I have it committed to memory. And instead of having to look it up online or print it out, I have it there. And then I write down if I passed or failed. Um, and that also means as you can tell, that I am going to have a bunch, let's see, yep. I probably will only use this bit, so I'm gonna have a bunch left over, but my plan is to rip it out and use this as like, because uh, it's nice colored paper, to use it as like, you know, uh, uh, scrapboard, not scrapboard, scrapbooking. Sorry, I'm in the process of like, drinking my coffee. It's first thing in the morning. That's why my phone's going off. So this is my current 2023 journal. Um, 
I had a couple laying around that I had bought for the second half of 2022 and I didn't like, but it's all that I had, so I set it up because I wanted to have something. But this came for the second half and it wasn't supposed to come until middle of January. Um, but I kind of, even though I already set this up, I kind of want to just spend <laughs> next week making this into this. Um, cause I didn't quite like how this turned out. I like the pages, but not the spreads. And that way I can kind of analyze it more. Cause when I made this, I didn't realize I was going to have, um, digital plate pages. So, um, this is a Yop and Tom, uh, A5 journal. Um, this... I believe it was supposed to come with some with a couple things. So I like it for this for a few reasons. I've I've watched a bunch of things. Um, I should probably explain how I'm using my bullet journal this year, actually. So I'm using it with like you know traditional pages, future log, your glance. Um, chores, definitely. I want a big page spread for chores as a reference so I can check in with it every day. Um, I'm using it for goals. So this is my yearly goals, quarterly goals. I got this idea from Aaron Floto. And then I have another little section for budget. Um, I wanted to utilize my Instax to take pictures of some fun memories and then self-care. And then I wanted to get into monthlies over daily logs. And I am either going to use my Notion for daily logs, or um, I'm physically going to write in a journal that I have. But I like this because it's the same style, not the same style, but like the same idea as Archer and Olive. That's not my coffee, that's my water. But yeah, it has this stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this. So I love this because this is what sold it for me. I struggle with hand tremors. Um, I can't draw straight lines to save my life, even with rulers. I can't cut straight. Um, so whenever I make grid lines, I, I can't. Um, so then, even if I were to take it out, I can't do it. So this has, um, it's just like a page in this book, like it's literally the same size. And it has how many numbers across, how many numbers down. So you can see how many spaces it takes. Um, and there's two columns, three columns, four columns. And you can like see it with a space. And then there's um, it vertical as well. And this is gonna come in handy. So there's a key with a bullet journal code section and a color section. Um, if you're watching this and this is like one of your first like bullet journal videos, cause I know I also do planner sticker videos. Um, I don't really write a key anymore, but everybody, like, if you look up the bullet journal method, there is a specific code that he uses, um, writer Carol uses, but it is heavily encouraged that, like, that's the code that works for him. Um, the whole point of the bullet journal method is that it works for you, so everybody can have their own code, and that's okay. And then there's an index. And one thing I really like, one detail I like about this is that the index pages, um, are lettered. So this is V, this is VI, VII, and then it starts numbered. So even these pages, you can still list in your index if that's what you like doing. That's the number. I love it. Um, this also has something a lot of bullet journal pages have, which is it breaks it up into quarters and there's a little plus sign and it's a little bit more clear. It, um, in person, but I don't mind it. I'm going to be honest. And it has all of these pages. Um, and it has 153 pages. And then it has a pen test page. And then it also has this really thick page. And it's here. I am just so excited. <laughs> I don't think you understand how excited I am for this. I am very close to setting this up as my first half of 2023 journal. In fact, I might do that. But if for some reason I just check it out and decide not to, it will be this one. And this is just from Michaels. 
and I had it for ages as a backup. But I, I, this wasn't supposed to come till end of January and I didn't want to wait that long to start my bullet journal. So there's that. These, I don't know how often I'll use. These are Plum Paper Planner Teacher in seven by nine or seven by eight. Um, uh, in the preschool kinder one. And then this is um, a pre, uh, Plum Paper Personal Planner B6. Yeah, this is A5Y, A5Y, this is B6. Um, in the ME, I believe it is. Um, this is from May 2022 to April 2023, and then this is July 2022 to um, June 2023. This is my content planner, um, and then this is my teacher planner. Um, I got these to help plan teaching content. I'm using something slightly different, mainly just my head, <laughs> and scheduling stuff on Notion, but I also have these physical copies, and since I bought them, I wanna use them. I know that I will, I definitely like having my teacher planner. Um, these last few weeks with the holiday have kind of been like whatever, but I'm really excited to get back into it. Basically, November and December were complete write-offs between my missing time for my trip and then get really sick, and then my co-teacher got sick, and it feels like we haven't really been a co-teaching team um, since Halloween. <laughs> Uh, well, she wasn't even there Halloween because she takes Halloween off since the week before Halloween. And it's the last week of December. So I'm really excited to get back into that. And I feel like I'm going to be utilizing my teacher planner a lot more. Um, and then this is my social media planner. I want to get back into it. If I don't use it, I don't use it. I bought it between trying to schedule videos and Instagram posts and um, PR. But I'm not really doing PR. I am still for Erin Floda Designs. I love her so much. Um, but I just really got back into planning in this last few weeks. So there's that. <laughs> and then finally, creme de la creme. This, this is my Aura Estelle. I have a different planner cover coming and it's going to be, um, it's like this, but it's pink and it's from Scribble Prints Co. But until then, I'm gonna use this. I believe this is gonna end up just being my September to December, and then my January and February are gonna go in that. This is really pretty, I like it. <laughs> I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. So the pages that I use in this ring planner, I use these Aura Estelle page dividers. I have a bunch of them because instead of reusing them, I just use little stickers to put to date it and then I'm gonna keep them. I'll find that, find that easier and I'll be able to look back at them. Um, and the inserts that I use, so the monthly inserts are Aura Estelle. Um, but the weeklies are print pression with her collab with Scribble Prints Co. And as you can see, actually, if once I get into November, um, so once I got into November, I decided to go with Scribble Prints Co. because it was all Disney stuff. And I just saved up a bunch. Um, so I realized that realistically I could buy a couple weeks of Scribble Prints Co. at once and like pre-make stuff, especially with her foils. So on top of that, once I, after this week, like you see that I have all the Scribble Prints Co. stuff. Um, and this is the last you can see I haven't done. Um, planning for the last week and a half because today is December 30th and I didn't plan for anything past uh, de December 16th but that just kind of shows you how much I've <laughs> I back plan a lot in this now which I think will be good for filming purposes because I can plan the entire week at once anyway that is my this is where I'm going to insert the iPhone, the iPad and iPhone videos. So let's do that. Hopefully the audio syncs up because I had to film that 
audio separately. This part of the video is going to be a bit different because as you can see, I'm on an iPad. So let's get started. Um, I asked for this iPad for Christmas. I've never actually had an iPad and there's so many apps I want to explore. This is so far what I have for the planning section. I do have a few bits on my phone that I'll also insert here, but let's get started. So first of all, the Florette app. I found this on a Facebook, not Facebook, a YouTube page that was recommending things and this one was in the comments. This so far I like, I'll scroll up a little bit. And as you can see, um, this has a diary portion, which is perfect because my iPad kit that my mother got me came with a uh, iPad keyboard and I can track a few habits. I actually have a different spot. I'm going to track habits, but I can physically type up what I'm doing and what I did that day and some gratitude. Um, and I'm looking for stuff for little things like this. This is what I meant when I say journaling, like writing prompts to get me back into writing and typing. And I also like how I can include my mood. So if I wanted to do today, I would click this thing, check in. Um, right now I am relaxed, even though it's before work. So what's making me feel relaxed, um, family, hobbies, meditation, planning continue and this would be how I would put my day I don't think I'm going to do that I'm going to start be starting this more seriously in October in January for some reason I said October so when we scroll down to, to uh, Wednesday it says that and I did check in with notion and I'm gonna work out and do my food diary later so there we go going back I'm not, not gonna go into notion yet I have Pinterest here so I can explore different Pinterest things to pull in. But then there's this Fleur app. I'm still exploring whether I want to use this or not, but it's a uh, sister to the Florette. And basically you can put what you're doing. So you can add income. So let's say, um, ugh, let's say I got paid. Shoes, category, salary, and I'm getting paid a hundred, uh, no, one, zero, 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 zero. That's, no, not that much. Let's say I'm getting paid $10. You can just save that, and then it's coming up there, and then you can delete it somehow. I'm not sure how yet. I'll have to explore, but that's how that would work. And again, I'm taking stuff more seriously in uh, January. This is my time to explore. Now, this is one of the reasons I am so excited. I finally got Notion. There's a lot of people that use Notion. I am so excited for it. So here is my Notion. I got the Bullet Journal 2023 in in on Etsy. So this is what it looks like so far. far. This has next to nothing this course description uh, because my courses haven't come out yet for January. I'm starting January 9th. So next week when I'm filming this probably around the time this will come out is when my courses will be available and I'll start adding in the due dates and all that other stuff because that's one of the things about university. Um, <clears throat> and then I have a projects page. So I'm working on decorating my house more to be more my style. I'm working on my walls are gonna be painted and then Piper, the new puppy I'm going to get. So I have all kinds of things to be completed, to buy, same thing for that. And then I don't have anything here, but I figure once I get into it, once I wanna, you know, I can add to this and that's what I'm excited, I can add to this personal page. I'm kind of setting stuff up. This is kind of like some bullet journal ideas. My whole thing was I was going to make my own bullet journal, but I didn't. <laughs> so I'm, there is some aspects on here. So a week, I'm, I have a reading list already started, a notes section for 
um, planner notes, money notes, some basically notes about finances and stuff. Planner notes and then notes for Disney because I want to go back. Um, and then reset. I really like the Jashi Corinne uh, reset thing. So um, for some reason my watch list is also on here. I have no idea why. I'll get rid of that at some point. <laughs> and then habit tracker. Now there is already a habit tracker in the bullet journal, but I had already set this up. So this is the stuff I want to track. I want to track my period, working out, Finch app, using my planner, tarot, and work out, uh, work planning. And then a simple budget. I'm going to add all my expenses and food diary. So as you can see here, I'm physically writing out what I am eating and when. This is an example from Christmas Day. And I'm doing that so I can see like what I'm eating, not necessarily the portion, because I find that triggering, but I also, I wanna work on losing weight and to do that, I need to figure out what I'm eating and what kind of food I'm eating. So this is honestly how I'm starting, just writing out what I'm eating and what kind of meal it is. And when it comes to the tags, I have breakfast, AM snack, lunch, PM snack, supper, bed, lunch, and miscellaneous. And then for my bullet journal, this is, there's some widgets here. It has the current month, a key, collections. Again, I didn't make this. I bought it on Etsy. So I like this because, so as you probably have seen in my bullet journal setup, or you will see, I did fully do some planning, but this is the stuff I really want to like crunch down on. So these are the, so each, I have eight goal categories and probably two or three goals per category. So close to 16, maybe up to 20 goals that I'm kind of like slowly working on. These are the ones I really want to crunch down on. So making a solid AMP room routine, um, completing my degree, using my planning system, because that way I can figure out what I have like when I use my planning system every day or weekly, like however I have it set up, it's perfect. When I don't, it sucks. <laughs> Working out up to 20 minutes, five times a week. That's my goal for, that's my, my end goal. Working up that, working out that often right now, I'm at about seven or eight minutes, three times a week and then getting ready for Piper. So then it has an area of focus and I really like this. So how am I going to, and that I really have to type in like what, instead of area of focus number one, it should be solid AMP and routine. I'm gonna change this. As I said, I'm still setting it up, but I have everything like for little like broken down bits. And this will come in handy when I'm trying to plan out my action steps, because I'm trying to do that. I also have a future log, which took forever to set up because the way I added stuff, was like physically like that. And if I wanted to add something, like for example, Truth and Reconciliation Day, I had to click that. I had to tap on this and scroll through the little thing here because it started in the current month. I had to do that so many times. It was hard, but I'm glad because now when I'm setting up my physical calendar, um, cause I like being able to physically look at it as well. I can see what I, you know, I can see stuff. What's that? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's an online creator I'm following. And then habit tracker. I only set up my habit tracker for the next few months. The only thing that I find frustrating about this specifically, except where I'm new to Finch, I haven't figured out how to make it smaller. As you can see, the workout one is one size and then Finch and Chores Done is a different size. These are ones I've added. And then this was a comment section, um, but I added it for like lesson planning. So I still have basically everything I was tracking, but I don't know, I have to figure it out. And this is just for January. And then you have to set it up yourself. So if we go down to May, we notice that it's the default. Um, and then there's the period tracker, which I like because it has like, it's like the same, you have all your months, all the days, works out. Consumption tracker. So 
This is when I, I was interested to see what consumption tracker was. So this is basically like different stuff that you could do. So different books you read, different drama series, different movies, podcasts, courses, and you can add other stuff. I think I'm going to change drama series to just TV series. But yeah, I think that's going to be interesting. And then highlights. So you write down like treasured moments for each month. And I think that's going to be perfect. When it comes to monthlies, it's a bit different. So there's this January page. So you have your monthly log. And it ba it's basically just your future log. But, <coughs> um, you know, on your monthly. Then you have monthly tasks. I started writing down some monthly tasks weekly see i'm looking at this vertically if i changed it to horizontal it would be slightly different um <clears throat> it's showing like the four weeks different things you should you can do in the week now the only thing that i find frustrating is this so this is my daily log and basically what this means is that when the next week comes i'm gonna have to like check that off somehow clear this and then do that for the next week. I was really looking forward to doing a daily log in like this style online so that that way I had more space in my bullet journal. And so like I was looking for this to be like more of like a long-term collection for the year so I don't have to change stuff in. And then my month, and then basically just having my bullet journal as a monthly tracker and having a daily log section in my notion so i don't know what i think about the fact that i have to like clear it every day that i find frustrating and like there's no tapping i don't know but then there's this habit then you see the habit tracker that i set up already and then some monthly reflections fill that stuff in and then the next month is february so that is my online section so far in my tablet. So now, as you can probably see, this is footage from my iPhone. So this is the second page of my iPhone. And this is under self-care is all my planning stuff. So this is my Finch app. I really like it. Um, I'm just starting today. So I'm going to say that's that one. And then there's all this stuff. So basically, you go through, I have my own goals for the day. So up here, you can see your journeys. These are the journeys. So these are the goals that will come up every day without me having to physically type them in. And you basically just check off or do stuff throughout the day. These are three that I added myself. And yeah. Um, so you can dress your finch. Here's a preset outfit. Decorate the house. And the whole point is that it grows and you can do more stuff with the finch. Um, your bird, well, burb, as it's called, as you go through the day. And I find that this is really helping me break down those goals. So as you can see, I have like exercise. I have my... Um, shower and hygiene stuff I have different stuff for planning and like listening to music like for my fun recreation I have a bunch of sleep goals um and yeah I can really break down my goals sections and what I want to do so next is routinery this is an app that again I found in a comment section Someone asked what in the in a Finch Facebook page, so the Finch app Facebook page, what would what other apps they use. So I really like this. Um, you can set the time that you start. So for example, this is my morning routine. I have like I have it literally set, and it's you literally set the time and you go through the routine. And, you know, for example, I don't do my makeup every day. So that's eight more minutes I have in the morning if I decide to do my makeup, not to do my makeup. And also my makeup doesn't always take me eight minutes. It usually takes me five, but I like to have that additional three minutes to walk 
from to like fix stuff up and maybe walk from the thing to my bedroom to get dressed and do my hair and little things like that it really breaks down what you're doing when and how and you can change things as well like I can move that up and down it's great um, so I have four routines I have that my morning routine I have my after work routine so what I do once I get home and again this is just like I meant as you notice one of my goals is to have a solid a and PM routine that's because I don't always do this stuff every day so this is me like I can figure out hey maybe I'm not going to do my snack and drink prep because I do that in the evening things like that hygiene routine I mentioned before I'm working on having a solid shower routine so I find having something like this like literally like step by step of what I am doing will help me and maybe you're looking at this and thinking I don't need that for a shower routine well as someone with um <laughs> germophobia OCD that finds showering really really triggering and panic attack inducing having like a solid like here's what I'm going to do and of course I don't wash my hair every day so there's two steps there that I can skip over but something like this I can focus on what's my next step and then if it gets too much I can stop but either way I know that yes that's a lot of stuff but I have everything I need and there's not going to be more and there's not going to be less there's just going to be that amount and that's also helping with my anxiety and the nighttime routine Again, I don't have to do stuff every day, but it's just breaking down what I'm doing. And then I can also see realistically um, what, like how long it's stuff I'm taking. For example, um, tarot, five minutes. I use tarot when I pray. I'm Christian, but I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> but I finally did tarot. I'm trying to get back into it for the first time. And I realized I need more than five minutes. I need about nine minutes. So I'm going to bop that back up to nine minutes done done and there we go and then it's just simply edited so you can see it roughly takes me 36 minutes from the time I start this to getting in bed but again it can change I really like routinery because um, and again this is a paid app uh, Finch is free because you can really see and break down your routine and this can really help with things like your OCD. Like people might think this will trigger my OCD, but honestly, knowing what's coming next and knowing that I can skip over something or pause it if it's not working for me is perfect. It doesn't have to be a certain way. It just is. At least that's what it is for me. So next, I have a couple things. So interval timer. This is for working out. This is nap time because that's when I usually work out. As you can see right now with my, this includes my uh, cool down and stretching. It's nine minutes, 45 seconds. I'm working up 10 minutes, so that's perfect. I have my podcasts. I don't know why the Corey and Tyler podcast is there. I haven't listened to that in ages. I really don't like Corey and Tyler. <laughs> but I listen to this planner podcast. I have a bunch and I haven't listen to this one yet but I'm interested in it but there is a bunch of different podcasts here that I'm starting again I don't know what great tell me is there basically some ECE and some clear ones and some planning ones that I'm starting and I usually just listen to them as I'm getting ready and then I have a color by number one here and again that's just self-care but this is all the stuff that I'm using to help with my planning stuff. So Finch routinery are things that I use every single day to help with my planning things. They're part of my planning. And then I also utilize things like the interval timer, podcast, happy color, um, to help with those goals. And I put them in the same section as my planner. So when I'm opening it every day, I see them every day and that will have me use it more often because there's some folders like entertainment, extra shopping, Apple, I don't use every day, but I use self-care every single day and I have it over here with my other, with my widgets so I can see it. And then this is a new self-care app that I'm exploring. I don't know if I'll use or not, but yeah, that is my iPhone section of my planner stack. Okay. Now that I remembered to do that, if you like this video, please like, share, thumbs up, and all, all that have a blue. If you have any advice or videos to recommend on 
how to set up stuff on Notion, keeping in mind that I kind of suck <laughs> at that stuff because I haven't been to HTML in for ages. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please like, share, thumbs up, and all that. Have a and I'll see you later.